here's what the apartment side of the shop looks like right now. So we have it set up like a little living room with our furniture. Bedroom dresser, bed, fridge, everything. Dining room table. That's a pantry, fridge and freezers. Mark asked me what I think we should work on over the next few months. And I said I would like to at least get these two walls completely finished and shiplapped by Christmas because I want to put a Christmas tree right there. In 2020, we had just moved out here and there was stuff everywhere. It was just crazy. So we didn't get a real Christmas tree. We did a COVID Christmas tree. <laughs> that, there's a tree. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to worry about it dying. Check. everyone. Last Christmas we also didn't have the wall up yet so it was cold in here and it was just dirty so I'd like it to be clean and the walls to be finished just so it feels a little bit more cozy. So that's what we're gonna work on. So I had to insulate this bay because once I put the two other window frames on here, I won't be able to get insulation in there afterwards. So I have to go ahead and stick it in there now. This is going to be good. I don't think it is. She's going to get the spider on a ladder. Yeah. And try like a and... blob of dirt without my glasses on. Oh, he's not a blob of dirt, is he? No, he's not. Take two. Yeah. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, he's big. So I finished framing this one wall. All the framing I can do right now, I got a couple more tiny studs to put over the door, but I need access to the J box. Um, what we're gonna do now is move all the furniture away from the wall along this side so that I can then do the framing down that wall and then eventually across the back. Once all the framing's in, then I can run electrical and then I can insulate and then I can put the siding on.
So. That won't take long at all. No. <laughs> Got till Christmas. Okay, here we go. One circuit. How many will there be total? Uh, including the outdoor stuff, probably about a dozen. So I used up all of the insulation that I bought previously to build the wall that separates the apartment from the shop. The material I'm using and the thickness and the dimension of it, none of that was available in or around Austin at all. The closest place I could find it was Dallas. Oh, okay. We've got all the framing done down here. We've got the wiring in, the data, and everything's insulated. I'm putting up Tyvek here in preparation for putting up the uh, nickel gap shiplap siding. Um, and I'm only doing that basically as kind of an air barrier and to keep the fibers from the insulation from working their way out through the cracks in the, in the siding over time. So we'll get this wrapped up and then I can start baseboards and then start working up the wall with the siding. So I thought something was weird when I went to cut this one out. I didn't realize I don't have a jam frame lumber here. And then this one 
I need to build it up a little bit from the stud spacing. I didn't, so I've got to fix that before I can finish that. Close. We're not gonna have enough? No, not enough, but just joint patterns and everything, it's, it's never close. Mm. So it's a week before Christmas and I've got to get this thing finished. So I'm hopeful that this weekend, it's Saturday, that today and tomorrow I should be able to wrap this up. Um, and then we can start moving the furniture back into place and actually set this thing up and set up the Christmas tree and make it through the holidays. Um, I've got the two end walls <coughs> are, are finished. I've got to do this side wall and I've got to take it all the way up to the ridge up there. Um, and then I'm gonna put window trim around the windows and then I have to put electrical devices in and finish wiring. I've got all the wires run to a J box over there in the corner. And then I've got to extend the wiring in those conduit and then into the back of the panel and stab them in uh, with circuit breakers. And then we've got power in here. So hopefully get all that done today. Um, if not today, tomorrow, finish it up tomorrow and then move furniture. So that's what we're doing. Finish.
So we decided to put a little kitchen counter in here and I found these at Home Depot. You can buy these butcher block tops in like four foot, six foot, eight foot. And they come pre-done, everything's ready to go. You just have to kind of sand it and you can do whatever. And what we're gonna do is I bought some base cabinets, ready-made, already painted, just simple white. And for now, in the apartment, this will be a kitchen counter. I'm gonna cut a sink in it. We're gonna run water in here. I'll have a hot water heater under the cabinet and we'll be able to have running water in here. Ultimately, when we move out of here and this becomes my, my space, um, this is gonna be where I brew beer and clean everything up. So it'll stay here permanently, but it'll be used for a couple of different things. Thank you.